Breathing Circuit Part 2 Mapleson Classification in Detail It is the continuation of Breathing System Presentation, I have uploaded two days ago. Let's start our presentation. Mapleson Classification It is classified as From Mapleson A to Mapleson F Now I will explain one by one. Mapleson A Circuit This breathing system was popular and widely used in the UK. It is designed by Magill, that's why it is also called Magill Circuit. The length of its corrugation tube is 110 cm. It is a choice of circuit for spontaneous ventilation but not for control, because for control ventilation, it required three times more fresh gases. This is a Mapleson A circuit. It has four main parts. The reservoir bag, which lies at machine end. Second is a PL valve which situated at patient end, the fresh gas inlet which also lies at machine end and this is the corrugated tube which is usually 110 cm in length. Mapleson B and C circuit. These circuits cause mixing of alveolar and fresh gas during spontaneous and control ventilation, due to that reason it required large amount of fresh gas flow, to prevent rebreathing. There is no use for Maplesson B in clinical practice, while Maplesson C are used in some hospital during transport of patient, to ventilate. These are Maplesson B and C circuits. As usual these circuits also have four parts, but the difference in these circuits from other circuit are, the position of the APL valve and fresh gas flow inlet, which are at patient end, the reservoir bag are at machine end. Another difference is that, the length of corrugated tube are short in these circuits, but the length of C circuit is too short. You can see in this picture. Mapleson D circuit. Also called Bain circuit. It is an ideal circuit for control ventilation, but least efficient, for spontaneous ventilation, because for control ventilation, it required one time of the minute ventilation, about 75 to 100 ml per kg per minute and for spontaneous, two time about 150 to 200 ml per kg per minute. It is also called universal circuit, because it can be used during spontaneous and control ventilation, but also in adult and child if you don't have another option. This is a Mapleson D circuit. It is look like a Mapleson A circuit but, it is different in many aspects from Mapleson A. In Mapleson A the APL valve, was near to the patient's end, but in Mapleson D the APL valve is in machine end, that you can see in picture. The another thing, the Maplesson D is a coaxial circuit, the coaxial mean tube in the tube. In this picture you can see, the green tube inside the transparent tube, in which fresh gas flow toward patient and expiratory gas come backward in the transparent wider tube. Green tube has a diameter of 6 mm and transparent tube are 22 mm wider. Maplesson E circuit. It is look like, inverted T shape. With three open parts, the fresh gas inlet, the patient end and the reservoir bag end. It is also called AIRS T piece. This breathing circuit, is used in anesthesia for children up to 25 to 30 kilograms. It is a suitable circuit for spontaneous ventilation. It is a bag less. Valve less and even a use less circuit. Mapleson F circuit. It is also called Jackson Rees modification of the ears T piece. It is modified by Jackson Rees. He added reservoir bag to Mapleson E to make F circuit. This circuit is used, most commonly for pediatric patients, both for spontaneous and control ventilation. Mapleson classification is completed. In next presentation, I will explain closed circuit in detail. Please like and subscribe my channel, 
for more presentations for watching